We we just left Moab. y'all so we just spent our second week here in the Moab area at this beautiful spot this time in Moab is coming to an end we are headed on to Colorado to do some snowboarding meeting up with some friends we'll be staying at a resort and we're excited to show you guys that resort because that's something we don't do that often plus it's gonna be snowboarding it's gonna be snow like all that kind of fun stuff but just to reiterate, like these sights that we're getting with this new trailer, they're just so nice because it's Easter Jeep Safari, right? So that's a huge event. And we were lucky enough to get this spot up here where most cars don't even wanna drive, to be honest. And you can kind of tell that everyone is down here. So it's just nice because we've been able to have our dogs off leash up here. We didn't worry quite as much about like RV security and stuff like that. Obviously we lock everything up like normal, but it's just kind of more peace of mind. On Friday, Saturday night down below, it was a little bit of a party, which we could hear, but it was quite faint. These are just kind of some of the things that, that we, we thought we would get with the new trailer and that we are getting with the new trailer. So we're excited. We're on the move today, travel day. We love travel days. And I think we're staying at Harvest Host tonight. And then tomorrow we'll be at our resort. gonna be staying at a resort in this video and we're excited to show you the journey to the resort getting hooked up you know hopefully we, we remember how to use hookups because we don't really do that very often and we're gonna be doing a lot of snow activities we have our snowboards with us and I think tonight we are staying in a Harvest, Harvest Host so that's another thing that's interesting we will show you that when we get there and we'll talk a little bit about Harvest Host and what it is and and why we like it, why we don't like it, all that kind of stuff. Travel days, it's always, it's always something. So we're still kind of learning and moving into our new trailer. And we just came down from that really rugged off-road camp spot and we drove about an hour and a half and we're in, how do you say that, Fru Fruta? Fruta, Colorado. And we're hitting up a Walmart because before we go to Breckenridge, we want to stock up because it's going to be like twice the cost. But anyways, we got here and we're gonna put the dogs in the camper while we go shopping. Had a little explosion. So we're still figuring things out. Not that big a deal, but this uh, was up here and it was, oh, it wasn't commanded down. I thought it was command strip down, so we gotta stick that sucker down so we don't have any more explosions, but it's always, it's all in good fun, right Zamboni? Right. Pretty. It's really pretty. Uh, We're starting to, we just drove over Vail Summit, which is uh, 10,000 feet, and 
we're seeing all the different ski mountains, all the ski runs over here. Well, and have to there's say, a lot of snow. A lot of people are curious about our smaller trailer and it is way less stressful, I'll tell you. Our truck would have for sure, you know, brought our fifth wheel up through this pass. Like, it would have been fine. But, you know, with this little trailer, this truck is basically like a car. Like, we can we can pass, we can kind of go anywhere. It's not struggling, the motor is just not stressing. It's just simple. Plus stress going downhill. Like, I just don't have to do anything. Yeah, and it's super well insulated, so it'll keep us nice and toasty and warm when we're camping in the snow this next week. Alright guys, well we made it to Breckenridge after a long travel day. We made ourselves some dinner. We are camped out at a Harvest Hosts tonight, um, Broken Compass Brewery in Breckenridge. If you're wondering what Harvest Host is, it is a network of wineries, breweries, museums, golf courses. Is there anything else? I think that's about it. Sounds about right. That basically opens up their parking lots and their facilities for RVers, fully self-contained units, um, to camp in their parking lot overnight. Kind of like a fancier version of Walmart. Um, and it's, it's it's cool. You're basically you're supposed to support the business. Mm -hmm. So tonight we're at a brewery. We don't drink beer, and we had just gone shopping. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and buy like a six pack for our buddy. It's his birthday. So we can support them. They let us crash in their parking lot. Obviously, you can tell it's a nice snowy view. <laughs> so overall, it's just a really cool experience. It's something that is really popular, I think, when you get towards the middle to the east coast of the country because yeah. out west, there's just boondocking everywhere. There still are harvest hosts, but I don't know. You can just go camp for free. Yeah, you don't really so. need it as much. We've used a harvest host membership once before when we were in Vermont we stayed at a maple farm which was really cool yeah so there's all sorts of cool experiences you know some touristy some not so touristy like I said all different kinds of businesses and it's really cool kind of fun you get a feel for the local flair and yeah so tonight we're at Broken Compass Brewery gonna go buy some beer and uh, they recommend that you spend $20 if you do stay at a Harvest Host and always uh, you know let the business know that you're there that whole thing but if you're interested in a membership we actually have a link below if you want to check that out and learn more well I have to say it's not the most glamorous <laughs> shitter's full Clark but we are right next to this beautiful mountain with this awesome sunset so you know it could be worse hey babe hey babe mm -hmm. Would you say that we have a shitty view? <laughs> Cool, so we made it to Tiger Run Resort. It was seriously like a five minute drive from our Harvest Host. You can see the spots, they're really big, especially when you have a 17 foot trailer. Well, technically 18 foot, because you're supposed to be at least 18 feet to stay here. Thank you. 